so white stag here. I have been gone for a while. It was completely unintentional. I kind of had a bit of, I guess what you can say, artist block. Now I think I touched a little bit on the subject a while ago in one of my videos. I really loved working with Canvas, um, back with Marco Polo. And like I hadn't worked on it in like over a decade. I had been painting on wood for probably at least the last five years. And the way my painting style just kind of progressed, it worked so much nicer and like I could blend more easily. The, I, the tooth would make it so the paint would stick better. I didn't have to use as many layers. Like everything about the canvas was just beautiful and I didn't expect that. Um, but I only had like massive canvases and I don't normally paint that big which I also love painting my girls big as well because you got a lot more detail and it was a lot nicer to paint. Um, but I didn't have anything smaller in the canvas size. So I was kind of forcing myself to paint things on the wood and then on top of that, like I wanted to do nautical things. I was trying not to do nautical things and use up some of the wood panels and then I just ended up just stopping and procrastinating. Then I started playing a game called Ark, which if you're unfamiliar is a survival game with dinosaurs. So I got kind of enamored with that. But I have been back to work and I've been doing lots of painting. Uh, I need to get caught up on editing these videos and doing the voiceover stuff. But anyway, to kind of get out of that little artist block, I ended up buying more canvas in different sizes. I got some 11 by 14s and 16 by 20s. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the 8 by 10s on canvas. I probably will, but the tooth at that point, like I noticed it was 11 by 14, which one of the reasons I stopped using it ends up like grabbing the brush and like it's hard to do like a straight line. I don't know how to describe it, but it, it is a little hindersome. Like I even tried reproducing the tooth originally on wood and I, that, I did not like the texture the gesso created even when I sanded it slightly. But this painting is called The Unfortunate End of Tree Girl. I had this sketch laying around. Um, I had many ideas surrounding this because I wanted to do some type of tree girl with an axe. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a woodcutter or have the tree girl holding the axe herself, but I just ended up going this route. I also want to do another tree girl. Like, I kind of like them. Like, I didn't want to go full out, full body tree trunk or anything, so I just started at the legs and had her holding branches and decided she should probably have green hair. Now I did a lot of this painting on stream, but a ton of it off of stream too. Um, when I'm not streaming it's normally during the days, the daytime, and my camera sucks in daylight. I don't no, like, I, I need to go through and find better settings for daylight and nighttime and switch back and forth between the two, because I always stream my painting at night, normally. This painting is already sold, but I do have prints available in my Etsy shop. I've actually been working pretty hard on my Etsy shop, uh, getting things updated with new images and... I have greeting cards up there now and poster prints and I am going to be bringing art cards back, art card prints. I have not offered them for quite a while. I actually started my business with them and I'd like to get back into it. I have two options and I'm not sure what I'm going to go with. Um, it's kind of exciting. I'm working on some other new products too. I'm working on a coloring book at the moment. 
and I'm hoping to offer that within within a month. I can at least take pre-orders, I'm hoping. But if you like what you see, um, subscribe. I've been a little inactive for a bit, but I have tons of more videos to post up here as soon as I finish editing it. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.